What is up everyone? DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. This is going to be a pretty simple, quick video, hopefully. I just want to bring you some updates from ProRec about the 800EX, some accessories. I also want to talk about a future ProRec video that will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I got a lot of content in between that I'm working on, so a lot of stuff coming on my channel, so please like, subscribe, and share. Join the Martini Nation. That's all I'm here to do, guys, is do you know some good reviews, some good content, give you an honest opinion. Do that research for you so you don't have to. Give it to you as easy as possible and then leave some links in case you're interested in some of the products. So my ultimate life goal is to do YouTube all the time, but unfortunately, I'm not there yet. So I do have a full-time job. I do DJ on the side. I'm always keeping busy, but staying positive. And this is what I love to do. I love to do the YouTube content. And so... Ah oh, man, I wish I could do it. So let's continue to grow my channel. Let's reach 5,000 subscribers so I can continue to do this. Thank you so much. That's all I got to say. Join the Martini Nation, like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. Let's get into the video and talk about some of the, these accessories and also talk about this 800EX really quick. So this is the 800EX. I'm going to go ahead and phase down on this. I do have a full, I do have a full review on this speaker on my channel. I will leave a link in the description for the 800EX full review. Check it out, it's a great speaker. I will just say real quick, if you've never heard anything about this, it is very comparable to the EV30, if you've heard of Electro Voice, sound wise, low end wise, very, very comparable. Uh, I won't say the Evolve 50, but the Evolve 30, very sound comparable. It might not have all the bells and whistles of the LCD screen and all that stuff on the EV30, but sound wise, very comparable. So check this out it's also a fraction of the cost of an evolve 30 so very great value speaker if you've never heard of pro rec 2 great for any beginning djs out there it, they're great values they're complete systems just all kinds of good stuff when it comes to pro rec and now they're getting a little bit more established that they have systems for even your professional and inter intermediate djs that i'm getting to the point where i have a system that will work for all kinds of scenarios and they're all from ProRec. I have a lot of other equipment too, but ProRec is really, really an oncoming company that I really am excited about. I'm excited for their future and what else they can bring. And I'm excited of the value that they put their equipment out, but yet it still has the quality to get the job done. So very, very cool. Uh, check out ProRec. Also check out audioprorec.com. That is their official website. If you guys do purchase anything, please use my link, uh, the Cool J Martini 81 coupon code, and that is C O O L J M A R T I N I 81. Use that coupon code, you will get 11% off your purchase. You're welcome, <laughs> and uh, it's a, it's going to be even a better value for you to do that. So uh, check everything out. Also, if they have any notes say hey i saw this equipment on dj martini midwest reviews you know that'll help me out with pro rec as well so thank you so much and it will continue to allow me to bring you great content from pro rec what you also want to know is i did get official news from pro rec that there is bags coming out for the 800 ex so official bags now i don't know the release date and i don't know how that's going to come. I'm guessing you're going to get a cover for the subwoofer, which will be great. But then I don't know the size of the bag, if it's going to be like a single bag or they're going to have a dual bag for you to carry too. Because when I take 800 EXs, I take two of them. So I want one bag, hopefully that can carry the two array top speakers. And I'm going to show you that here in just a little bit. Till that point, like I said, I don't know the release date. I know they're coming but I don't know the release date and how the format they're gonna come for a bag. So till then, I have some ways to get you through to that point. And like I said, these aren't the best bags out there, but they're affordable and they'll be able to get the job done until ProRec releases their official bags, okay? So I just wanna point that out. They're affordable, they're not the best bags, but hopefully they can get you through if you own an 800EX and you, you, you're a mobile DJ and you're transporting it around, at least you can get a little bit of protection until you get the official ones, okay? So first I wanna talk about a cover for the 
800EX subwoofer. It is very, very tall and lanky. And I kind of, I already kind of pointed down, but I just want to show you. So I did find a bag from the bo box OB company. And there, uh, there's a lot, there's like a lot of similar bags like this. So I will leave a link for the one I have, but there'll be a lot of similar bags at similar price points between probably, I found this one was like the cheapest at 16 bucks, but they go from 16 to $30. And they're all very similar. So I wouldn't get fooled with saying if I get the $30 one, I think they're very similar. Uh, I think they're all kind of cloned bags. But I will show you the quality of this. It kind of reminds me of a uh, inexpensive grill cover. It does have that silver material. It does say it's an Oxford material that is waterproof. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not waterproof. This is water resistant at best, and it will protect you from a sprinkle, but it's not going to protect your speaker from a downpour. If it's downpouring, I don't think you should be DJing anyways. And so get your equipment out of there, move it, take it down real quick, protect it, all that kind of stuff. It will protect, like I said, from if it's sprinkling and you were able to go to the bag every once in a while and just shake it off. But if water pools on this, eventually it will go through it so make sure you protect your equipment like i said it says it's waterproof but i will tell you right now it is not it is water resistant i'm going to show you that it does fit though it does have a draw, uh, drawstring on the back of this so you can tighten up the bottom to kind of protect uh, the bottom as well it is big enough to fit the speaker and there is about three inches at the bottom so i'll kind of show you that let's go to the bottom here you can see that here's the bottom of the speaker right here and you have about three inches extra of material and you can drawstring that and tighten up the bottom. But I just wanna say this is more just for protections, for transport. As a mobile DJ, I'm transporting these every once in a while. So I need to protect them and I don't really have anything for it. So uh, also I wanna point out that you can still grab the handle on this. I can grab that and the material is pliable enough that I can still grab the handle and transport this so it works really well. Now, you can't use this when you're using the speaker though. So you have to, this will also work on any 15 inch speaker. Like if you have a big PA 15 inch cabinet speaker, you can use this with it on. But on this particular application for the 800EX, you can't use this with it on because there's no hole here to plug in your array speakers. So uh, this is more just for protection for transport. So that's what I'm using it for. So I just want to point that out. Some people will, can I use it once it's on? No, you cannot use this with, with uh, trying to use the speaker at the same time. It's not going to work. But if you want to use it with your other, any kind of 15 inch cabinets, which we'll be talking about a little bit later, then it will work. Okay. So I just want to show you that it does fit. Uh, there's plenty of material does fit this and it will work it for transporting your 800 EX. All right. So that's the company. I will leave a link for it. Like I said, it was about 16 bucks. I think that's a great value. You're going to run about 32 bucks for two of them. Not a big deal in my opinion to protect your equipment. All right. Next thing I want to talk about is the, the try or Tori bio bag right here. Now, this is a very cool bag and I'm going to kind of bring it down to the floor here or maybe I got a box here we can use and then I can kind of get close and show you a few things with this so I got the 800 EX box right here actually so we got the bag right here we're gonna go through this a little bit so this is the Tori bio bag this is 40 by 8.2 which I think it kind of stretches a little bit so it's closer to 9 in my opinion by where the zippers are but you do have a pocket here so I, I it's pretty decent equipment like i said I, it's not the best uh, but you do have you can throw your cords in here so i can put my cord in there but the biggest thing that i was making sure that you could do is you can see that you do have velcro on this side <laughs> move this over a little bit you do have velcro on this side so things can slip out so that's one thing i want to to make known but I like that you can just take this open and look beautiful. How beautiful do these look in here? You got your array speaker right here. You got your poles in here. So I have two of them in here right now. Everything fits in here snug. So then when it's zipped up, everything's in there pretty snug. 
So I do like that. It's a pretty good fit. Now these are slid all the way to the back side here once again. And the reason why I want that is I want all the weight to the back of this because the back is together. There's no, there's no hole in the back of this. I want to point that out. You know, you have a little bag here for some extra stuff too, but this is all contained right here. So I kind of want, when I carry this, I want the weight to that back side because I don't want the poles to slip out the front side. Now this is a good Velcro and all that good stuff. And like I said, these zip up nicely. And I also want to show you too, real quick. See, this is, you have a lot of extra room. All right, this is about the closest bag that I could find. Like I said, that would fit it so well with two of these in here like this. There, There is a 31 inch version of this, but you're going to be very, very close. Because uh, I, like I said, because the way this is, you, can't, you guys can't really see this, but this pole is sticking out just a little bit, about two inches more than the speaker. And just because of the way it fits in here, like I said, when you, this is all pushed together, that they do have a 31, and that's exactly how big these are. So I don't know if they would squeeze in there perfectly, okay? That's why I went with a bigger bag, but this still gives you offered, you know, maybe you can put a pair of headphones in here, you could put, uh, you know, some wires or cables, anything extra, you have some extra room, which I'm okay with. They do have a smaller bag, uh, if anybody wants to test that, go ahead. But like I said, I bought this bigger bag because I knew it would fit perfectly and they do fit really, really good. And they offer me some extra room too. But anyway, so I can zip this up. Zipped up. I can carry this. And like I said, I would just worry about keeping that weight to this side because like I said, I don't want any poles to slip out from there. But like I said, if you have this to the back side, you're good to go. And so I would carry it like this. All right. All right. Just to let you know too, that with my bag, I did not get a very long shoulder strap for it. So to let you know, this bag does come with that, but mine didn't come with it. I think probably because mine was a warehouse deal. I was trying to get it even more inexpensive. It didn't have the shoulder strap. You can pick those up for like seven bucks. I don't really need that because I have other bags that have shoulder straps. So I can, I can switch them around or do whatever I need to do. But if it, uh, it does come with one, just to let you know, I didn't show a shoulder strap. Uh, it also has a little bottom plastic. It's not plastic. It's kind of a, a nylon material that goes on the bottom and makes it a little bit stiffer on the bottom. So that is a nice extra protection as well. It is weatherproof, so it can resist some water. Like I said, I don't think it's fully waterproof, but it is weatherproof and it does offer pretty good protection uh, with the nylon material. It has lots of pockets. Like I said, pocket on the back, pocket on the side. Zippers are pretty decent. Not the best bag out there, but will get the job done pretty well for you, I think, in my opinion. It does have pretty decent reviews, four stars and above, but there are some reviews saying that the bags rip or the zippers have issues. So, like I said, not the best bag, but pretty good reviews, pretty good price point, and also will get the job done until you can figure out when ProRec is going to come out with their bags. So, that's kind of what I want to bring it to you today. Also, I just want to let you know, I, I did receive an SP15 from ProRec, so thank you ProRec. That review will be coming here in the future, probably a couple weeks. I got a lot of content that I'm moving around trying to get completed and videos made. Also, I want to test that speaker in the act, so I might hopefully get to use it for a gig as well. We'll see if that happens. If not, I will get the review out here pretty soon. So, SP15 PA speaker is coming soon also people have been requesting for the sp18 subwoofer i don't need a subwoofer at the moment and i kind of go like i said i'm just like everybody out there with a budget if i needed an sp if i needed an 18 inch subwoofer i would i would go ahead and, and pick one up and re totally review it but till then uh it's just not in my budget at the moment so uh thank you for all of the support and comments but I, I, I just can't get one right now. I also don't have a lot of room to store all this stuff. So I, it's just not on my needs list right now. But in the future, if it comes available, I will see what I can do for you for a full review on the SP18 subwoofer. I think they have an SP15 too. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll keep an eye on that. It, maybe that might be a, a, a better 
uh, issue for me. So it is in my head and thank you for all the suggestions. But like I said, I just, it's not in my, uh, my wheelhouse right now. So I just wanted to let you know that as well. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share Martini Nation. Let's keep growing and we'll see you really, really soon on my next video. And hopefully you like the shirt today too with the uh, world's worst DJ with my T-Rex here. So, all right guys, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Catch you on my next video.